This is a gate problem from voltage regulator and this is based on the discrete components comprising of bipolar junction transistors and the center diode. So here is the problem statement. In the voltage regulator shown below, V1 is the unregulated voltage of 15 volt. Assume VBE equal to 0 0.7 volt and the base current is negligible for both the BJTs. If the regulated output V0 is 9 volt, evaluate R2. So looking at the problem that is given here, so this is the unregulated voltage of 15 volts and over here on the output side, we obtain a regulated output of plus 9 volt. And so this is a 9 volt voltage regulator. And the Zener diode that is given here has a breakdown voltage of 3.3 volt. And we are interested in finding out this value for R2. So with a problem like this, once again, if we look at the output side, we find a voltage divider circuit right over here because of the fact that the base current is taken to be negligible. So because the base current is negligible, you can assume that no current enters the base terminal of this BJT and therefore this branch is sort of cut off from the rest of the circuit in terms of its current. And what we also know is that this drop will be equal to 0.7 volt and therefore if this drop is 0.7 volt and another 3.3 volt is provided from the drop across the Zener diode which is the Zener breakdown voltage so the voltage at the base of this BJT will be equal to 0.7 plus 3.3 so the voltage at this node will be 4 volts and therefore this is the voltage that is across the resistance R2 and the rest of this stuff is a simple case of solving for a voltage divider network where we know that voltage at this node is given by this resistance R2 divided by the total resistance which is 1 kilo ohm plus R2 and it should be multiplied by this supply voltage of 9 volt. So this is R2 by R2 plus R1 multiplied by the voltage that is obtained at the output node which is equal to 9 volt and this must equate to the voltage at this node which is equal to 4 volt and upon solving for this equation we obtain the value of R2 as 0 0.8 kilo ohms which is equal to 800 ohms. So this is a very simple question. And if you look at this part of the circuit, it turns out that this did not really play a role in the circuit analysis equations.